Oh, yeah, quite a rally here. Still more than 500 points of gains on the Dow. Wedding bells. Not the closing bell. Wedding bells are clanging at historic decibels right now. There is a wedding boom in effect, the likes of what we haven't seen in decades. According to The Knot, the wedding website, 2.6 million weddings will be held in the U.S. this year alone, more than any other year since 1984. Millennial and Gen Z brides and grooms finally able to say I do after two years of pandemic postponements. But they want something more when it comes to, yeah, the gems, right? They want to know where their engagement ring and wedding band diamonds and medals come from and whether they were ethically sourced. Brilliant Earth has set out to do just that by using the blockchain to supply their customers with ethically sourced fine jewelry. Let's just get to the good part here. Joining us now in a Fox Business exclusive with a bunch of her product is Brilliant Earth co-founder and CEO Beth Gerstein. This has been a crazy year for you guys. It has been a crazy year. Yeah, we just IPO'd last September. I know, but also at the same time, you finally get so many weddings that are, it's like the floodgates have opened. It is, it's a tremendous time. We're so excited to be able to serve our millennial Gen Z customers with our personalized jewelry. As you said, the most weddings in decades and yeah. we have a great assortment to be able to offer them. Well, and, and we've got a bunch here and um, I know our viewers are eager to look at them and I'm eager to put them on. Uh, so let's take a look at some of these and as we do, Many of your diamonds are lab grown. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to dispel this idea. Somebody just came in and said, are those real? Yes, they're real, correct? Explain why lab grown diamonds are absolutely real. Lab grown diamonds are optically, physically, and chemically identical to natural mine diamonds. And what we find is for certain customers, they really like that it's more sustainable, it's mining free, they like it's affordable, it's obviously really beautiful. And some customers really want something that is natural and we have our beyond conflict free, ethically sourced diamonds for them. And some really love that it's made in a lab, it's cool technology for that younger millennial customer. Okay, and the younger millennials, and by the way, you should also include the rest of us here because look at this one. I mean, I am holding, this is gorgeous. Now, is this lab grown? Um, that one is lab grown. Yeah, lab grown. So how much would this cost? Um, I would guess that that would be maybe somewhere around 7,500 to 10,000. Okay, but this looks like a four carat or three carat. Normally that would run people a lot more, would it not? Yeah, it's a more affordable option and still beautiful. Well, let's talk about why they are ethically sourced and what it means to be ethically sourced. I mean, yeah. I remember the movie with Leo DiCaprio, Blood Diamonds, and uh, you know they're forcing children to work in some of these nations to mine the diamonds. But how how do you prove that the the actual gold? Because this is where you guys take it a step above. That's right. The metals in your jewelry are ethically sourced. That's right. Our metals are from recycled sources, so we've been audited over 90% recycled, which I think really appeals in terms of sustainability and is a core part, really the mission. It incorporates everything that we do. It's our packaging, it's our rings, it's our diamonds. And we, as you mentioned, we use blockchain in order to help trace the diamonds. We work with suppliers and really integrate with their technology to really provide enhanced transparency. So you're able to see the journey of a diamond in a way that you've never seen before. Uh, you know what I find really interesting, especially our viewers might, is that you saw net sales increase year over year in the first quarter, I believe, by 42% to $100 million. That's what right. does that tell you about the demand for this kind of gem and this kind of jewelry? I think it shows you that our brand is really resonating, that mission-driven values are incredibly important. We have a unique omni-channel model, so we've been investing in digital experiences and opening new showrooms. That we're, we just opened our 18th showroom, which is really exciting. We're expecting to double the number of showrooms this year. And that model, along with personalized, unique jewelry, and our mission is really the killer combination. Okay, so you've got the Zodiac necklaces here. Um, how are these selling? And then uh, the trends. I wanna hear about what the trends are. Absolutely. The Zodiac moment. pendants are incredibly popular. Mm -hmm. People really like more personalized jewelry that has meaning to them. Yeah. And they're really beautifully designed. I love them personally. Mm -hmm. And you can see yellow gold is absolutely a trend that we see increasing over time. 
and your stackables down here. Um, this is a new trend that I see a lot, especially on Instagram and TikTok. Stackables. Yes, the contours are beautiful. You can stack them, um, having warmer colors with yellow gold and rose gold, and really being able to mix and match. I think you can find very distinctive stacking styles, which are really beautiful because yeah, more is always better in my opinion always always better uh, the stock obviously you're brand new it's been a rough go and we do have contraction uh, when it comes to consumers we just heard from our truck driver uh, at the moment who says that demand is starting to come down how are you ready to to face what could be a little bit of a recession yeah i would say our model is very resilient so we're asset light, very capital efficient. We don't have to hold a lot of inventory because most of what we do is make to order. Mm -hmm. And what that allows us to do is to scale up as we see more customer demand and be able to meet the customer in terms of what they, they actually want. So inventory risk is much lower. We had over 10x turns last year, mm. and that's relative to a traditional jeweler is about one to two x turns. So that's keeping us very nimble. Well, uh, let me tell you, uh, the stock is, is nimble right now. It's up about 4%, so uh, we'll be watching. And uh, the trend is really interesting. Brand new, as we start to look over the past couple of years, the development of lab-grown diamonds, you guys are, are in quite the catbird seat. Thank you, Beth. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me. Beth, Ger Beth Gerstein with Brilliant Earth.